Hello, 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 and welcome to Empress Moon Tarot, Empress Moon Tarot 777. I hope that you are doing well. My name is Kimmy. Welcome to my channel. If you're brand new here, very happy to have you here today. Please be sure to click that subscribe button right down there below. And also for everybody watching, please be sure to hit that thumbs up. It helps the video to get out to others who might be in need. Thank you for your assistance with that as well. So today for our Monday reading, we are going to be using our Tarot of Dreams. Tarot of Dreams. We haven't used that one in a while and I feel compelled to use it for Monday. So that is going to be our deck for the day. The Tarot of Dreams. We shall see what, what Monday will bring. Keep in mind, this is a general reading. Not everything will resonate with you. Take what does and sweep away what doesn't. Don't worry about it if it doesn't. If you find that I'm speaking to you, but you're resonating with it as being your person, feel free to swap it or vice versa. All right, let's see what we've got. Monday, 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 Monday. Let's get this week rolling right. All right, Spirit, give us a, a nice Monday message. Well, the message that the collective needs to hear. If it's not so nice, we'll deal with it. <laughs> judgment. Judgment. Four of Swords. Ace of Pentacles. This is looking really, really, really good. Really good so far. Sorry, I'm like slouching tonight for some reason. I'm tired. It's Friday night. I'm tired. Page of coins, ace of coins. What have I said about that before? Wow. It's in the wrong order, though. It's in the wrong order. All right, let's see. The hangman. Somebody's really struggling to make a decision here. It's it's um it, it's a desire to reconnect with somebody, and it doesn't necessarily have to be a love interest. It could be, you know, a family member that you may not be communicating well with, or um, a friend, or even a business partner, or somebody that you work with. This is um, what I'm feeling is some sort of regret here with our judgment card. A desire for forgiveness and atonement and a desire for a second chance with this person. Like I said, it does not necessarily have to be a romantic connection. It could very simply just be somebody that, you know, you've had some sort of falling out with. That could be a friend. It could be, it could be anybody. So um, what we have here is we have that desire for that second chance the, the the person who's dealing with the regrets and all the, the guilt and the thoughts associated with that is taking some time kind of away from the world. I mean, they may be doing like, you know, the regular everyday everyday routine, but but what I'm feeling is, you know, that, that guilt and regret is sending them back, back to their home, back away from all other people, possibly focusing on work heavily instead because we do have the eight of coins here. Um, but this particular person is dealing with these thoughts, dealing with this, this sense of, you know, feeling so stuck because of regrets and guilt. What they desire is they desire a brand new opportunity with this person. Now, like I said, it does not have to be romantic does not have to be romantic at all, but they want a brand new opportunity to start fresh with this person. And that's, you know, what they're trying to figure out. It's like, how do they get past the guilt? How do they get past those feelings of regret to get out of this state of, you know, rest recuperation in order to move towards this person? Now, immediately after that, we have the page of coins. This could be you going out and expressing this desire to have some form of forgiveness and a desire for a brand new start or your person doing that either or
Could be the apology as well. Could be the apology. I feel like it is the apology. But it's real important before you take those steps to move towards this person, you just take a step back for just a moment. Make sure that you're seeing things from all perspective before you communicate before you express, you know, this desire for this new beginning, before you express, you know, the apology. Take just a, a brief pause with this hanging man, a brief pause, and just look at things from all angles, make sure you covered all your bases. See what else we can find out for you, okay? Judgment. Now, as I start drilling down with clarifying cards, it gets a little bit more specific, and it might not resonate with as many people. That's okay. Like I said, sweep it away. Just take the parts that do. Judgment, judgment, judgment. Wow, so this is so sad. This is so sad. The person who's having regrets has all these is is spending this time thinking about their person and being thoroughly com completely confused on on how to how to obtain this, how to obtain you know the the second chance, the forgiveness, and they're having these fond memories, but yet they're confused. They're confused. All right, what about our Four of Swords? What's going to happen for this person with the Four of Swords? Ah, their strength is going to be renewed in this time time of rest. Their strength will be renewed. This is all also often, you know, here's our empress. It's our empress has tamed the lion, you know, she, through unconditional love. There's been this, this increase in the strength of the connection and a strength of this person individually. The Eight of Wands is about that communication that will bring balance to all areas of your life. It's that arrows of love, Cupid's arrows. So I feel like you're you're trying to figure out, you know, what exactly do you say in order to, um, you know, get past the, these feelings of regret and, you know, what does your person need to hear, et cetera, et cetera. So you're looking at, at the communication from all angles before you communicate. Kind of, I feel somebody rehearsing it a little bit. This must be somebody extremely important because I feel like it's being rehearsed. So we got we got the Four of Swords again. The stresses of life also getting in the way. But all of these mental worries are going to be lifted here soon with this fresh opportunity. But all the worries right now are over this desire to have this opportunity to re reconnect with someone and have this second chance. Still don't know if it's love, friend, family. Five of Wands, the Hermit. I'd like one more card on that. King of Wands. All right. So uh, in, in that state of rest, recharge, recovery, trying to determine exactly what, what is going to be said, one of the things that needs to be considered is bickering and fighting. You know, is there any trigger points that's going to cause bickering and fighting? You want to be careful to avoid that. Um, the hermit, that's, you know, while you're in that, that state of that rest and recharge, you're, you're trying to figure out how to get what it is that you're, you're hoping for. 
and how to take action. You are going to be taking action with that King of Wands to bring in this communication, this message of this desire to, you know, to, to renew the connection, the apology. So the um, the hangman. First, we were clarified by our three of swords, queen of pentacles, two of cups. It looks like there was some heartbreak here between the two of you. Obviously, we already see that. There wouldn't be the regret and the guilt if there was not some sort of heartbreak. So, you know, while you're in this, this, you know, looking at things from another perspective, do take into account that the other person may be wounded. Um, we do have with our Queen of Pentacles here, somebody being very loving, very giving, very nurturing. But don't, don't mistake her, her being loving and nurturing for being weak. Because our Queen of Pentacles is very, very, very strong. It looks like th this person... Um, maybe your person, or it could be you, either or. There's a lot of strength in that particular card. And then we have the Two of Cups, Mutual Love and Affection. Um, so there is love here, and there is going to be communication. Let's take a look and see if we can get possible outcome of the communication. Also, in case this is a business situation, um, this can often be indicative of soulmates, and it can sometimes also include business partnerships when you're referring to career-based things. Okay, potential outcome of this communication with the page of coins. All right. Well, um... We have the Two of Wands and the Six of Swords. So one of the two of you is, is carrying carrying the, the wounds of the connection with them as a protection mechanism. It's almost like they're latching on to whatever happened between the two of you. Um, and, you know, I mean, it is, it is smoother sailing, but yet this person hasn't released release those mental thoughts. It's better when we see a six of cut or a six of swords when the boat and the ship has left all of the um, all of the the swords on the dock. Let me see if I can show you. If it's real close, I will get it. And then it's, you know, it's it's a be beautiful representation of, you know, moving forward in a in a very peaceful manner. I, it's a little bit further back in this deck, so. Um, but instead, you see how they're all like, they're all coming together directly across his heart. So this person's kind of taking whatever happened with them. Um, you know, they're gonna have to get past that. That could be you, your regrets, your guilts, you carrying them with you instead of letting them go, even though you're going to be communicating. We have the Two of Wands, so it looks like, you know, you're making a decision to, to take some sort of action. And this is going to provide you with either clarity or happiness. I feel like it's going to provide you with happiness because it looks like you're repairing a connection. Now, the connection, like I said, it could be a friend, it could be a family member, it could be a loved, loved one, um, it could be, a, you know, a love interest. I mean, it could be anybody. It could be a business partnership business or a co-worker um, but regardless of whom it is the person who's carrying around the guilt and regret needs to is you know has this desire to apologize has this desire to communicate and um, you know it, they're they're kind of gripped in the fears of doing so but they're going to need to be able to move forward because and they need to move forward by leaving leaving the past past hurts behind because if you take them with you they just resurface and there is going to be action taken so I just feel like this is this is more of happiness happiness that 
you come to a point where you're at least at an agreement, whether or not you're moving forward together or apart, or you know, if a situation is being corrected or not, you come to a point of peace, I believe, here with the sun. So um, I'm happy to see that. I don't think I'm going to take a romance angel just because of the fact that um, it doesn't feel like it's entirely love for all of you. So... No, let's not use this deck. Let me use this deck. We are going to use our, our Oracle of the Unicorns for Monday. Monday, Monday, please. Monday, the 9th. Monday, the 9th. One more, please. Okay, we got a couple. And these are hard to see in the dark. <laughs> it, it's not just it's not just my old eyes. It's you know, it's it's the fact they're hard to see in the dark. All right, so we have nature. Ground yourself, find a sanctuary in nature, connect with the elementals. So basically, it's just saying it might be good, especially during this time of rest and recharge, um, you know, to get out in nature, ground yourself. So that was, um, you know, it, it, advice, helpful advice. And then we also received polarity. Integrate your shadow side. There can be there can be no light without dark. Understand the law of polarity. I feel like this is expressing that need to look at, at all sides, need to look at both aspects of the situation, taking that time to kind of take a step back and review. And then we also have leadership. So for those of you dealing with business issues, probably why I was referring to business <laughs> so many times, leadership, step into your knowledge, share your message, Forgive and, or I'm sorry, I don't know why I said forgive. Inspire and empower others. Leadership, leadership. So I think, you know, you'll be, you'll be correcting the situation pretty smoothly by just, you know, taking the lead and, and making that step with regards to business. Um, with regards to, you know, your personal relationships, no matter whom that might be. I feel very strongly you need to be looking at things from, from both perspectives, the bad s stuff that happened as well as the good in order to figure out how to communicate, you know, and, and rectify this situation. But you're moving in the right direction to do so. Um, so for those of you that are dealing with an in, uh, a personal issue like that, I hope that you're able to get it resolved quickly and be able to move forward in a more peaceful manner. Have an absolutely beautiful Monday, and I shall see you again soon. Bye-bye.